Here are 10 techniques combined with automation and command line efficiency to efficiently manage resources to free up disk space. Analyze disk usage. Utilize tools like Windows Start or Space Nifa to visualize disk usage and identify space hooks. Open your preferred web browser. Search Space Sniffer Download. Choose the first link to visit the official Space Sniffer website. Download the executable file. Wait for the download to complete. Extract the downloaded zip file. Select a destination folder to extract the files and click Extract and run Space Sniffer as an administrator. When you open Space Sniffer, you'll be prompted to choose which drive you want to analyze. Select the drive and click Start. Space Sniffer will scan the selected drive. This may take a few minutes depending on the size of the drive. After the scan, you will see a visual representation of disk usage similar to a tree map where each box represents files and folders. The size of the boxes corresponds to the size of the files or folders. Hover over any box to see the path and size of the file or folder. Double clicking on a box will drill down into the selected folder. Right click on any box to delete the file or folder. Check for hidden files. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. Uncovering hidden files can help you free up disk space by identifying files that may be taking up space without your knowledge. Use the cd command to change the directory you want to check for hidden files. For example, to check the C drive, enter cdc. You can replace C with any directory path you want to explore. To list hidden files in the directory, use the following command. dir displays a list of files and subdirectories in a directory. eh displays files with the hidden attributes. S searches in the specified directory and all subdirectories. After executing the command, you will see a list of hidden files in the current directory and its subdirectories. Review this list to identify any files you want to delete. If you find hidden files you want to delete, you can use the del command. For example, to delete a specific hidden file, use del and replace path to your hidden file with the actual path to the hidden file you want to delete. Reply with y to confirm your decision. Find duplicate files. Use tools like Duplicate Cleaner or C Cleaner to find and remove duplicate files. Search Duplicate Cleaner Download in your web browser. And click the first link. Click the download icon and wait for the file to download. Open Duplicate Cleaner. Click Next on the Setup Wizard. Accept the terms in the license agreement and click Next. Click Next to install the default folder or click Change to choose another. Click to begin the installation. The installation process will take a few minutes. Click Run Duplicate Cleaner now and click Finish. It is a free tool. Click OK. Click OK again. Select the Scan Criteria tab and choose the mode to scan files. Select the Scan Location. Choose the type of file you want to scan for duplicates from the available folders section on the left. Run the scan. Click on the Start Scan button to initiate the scan. Wait patiently for the scan to complete. Review your results. Once the scan is complete, review the results. Click the Duplicate Files tab. 
you will be able to see the number of duplicate copies and originals. Choose which duplicates to delete or move. Now select the Recycle Bin tab at the top of the app to take action. Click Delete Files and Confirm Deletion. Follow the prompts permanently remove the deleted files. Use the built-in command clean manager to launch this cleanup through the command line. Type clean mgr siege set 1. This command sets up a configuration for this cleanup. It allows you to specify which types of files you want to clean up during the cleanup process. You can check or uncheck the various file types you want this cleanup to manage. Now type clean mgr siege run one this command actually runs the disk cleanup utility using the settings you specified with the stage set command it will automatically clean up the selected file types without prompting you again delete browser cache through the access developer tools open your web browser an example chrome access the developer tools press f12 to open developer tools go to application tab in the left sidebar, under the application section, click on storage. Include third-party cookies and check the boxes for cached storage and cookies. Click on the clear site data button to delete all selected items. A cluttered cache can slow down your browser's performance. Clearing it helps your browser load web pages faster and operate more efficiently. Identify large files. Use command prompt to find large files. Before we proceed, let's revert back to the system32 directory. Type cd c windows system32. Now type 4 R C F in. This recursively iterates through all files in the C drive. If C F G T R 1 gigabyte. This checks if the file size is greater than 1 gigabyte. Echo full name F F displays the full path of the file. Echo length Z F displays the size of the file in bytes. The command identifies files larger than 1 GB, allowing you to target the large files consumed on your disk. By focusing on large files, you can quickly free up a significant amount of space. Now run the delete command to delete the files you don't need. To delete a specific file, use the command del and replace path to file with the path of the file. Remove unused programs. To list all installed software, use the following command type WMIC product get name. This command will display a list of all installed programs on your system. To uninstall software you no longer need through the command prompt, type WMIC product where name. Replace exact software name with the actual name of the program you want to remove. Call uninstall. Unused software can pose security risks, especially if it's outdated and no longer receives updates. Removing these programs minimizes the attack surface and reduces the chances of vulnerabilities being exploited. Use storage cells. Enable and configure storage cells in Windows settings to automatically clean up files. To open settings, press Windows plus I on your keyboard. In the settings window, click on system. Now click on storage. Then storage cells at the storage management section. Find the toggle switch for storage cells. Turn it on to enable the feature. Here you can set how often storage cells runs, whether during no free disk space or daily, weekly, or monthly. You can choose your preferred frequency. Set how long files should stay in the recycle bin before being deleted, be it one day, 14 days, or more. Set how long to keep files in your downloads folder before they are deleted. You can choose one day, 14 days, or 30 days. You can also run storage cells immediately by clicking on the run storage cells now button. This action will trigger the cleanup process according to the settings you configured.